Morning everyone. You join us at dark and still raining. Well, he's in Harlington where we are going for a very special day. Today is Tuesday the 24th of May. What that means is Elizabeth Line Central section opens for the first time to passengers. However there's one bit of housekeeping we need to do first and that's to get the first actual rebranded Elizabeth Line service which is from this platform here at five o'clock. First Elizabeth Line service. And I'm all hot and sweaty because I realised that I was on the wrong platform. motion. It's just because of the size of the station. I don't know. Anyways, getting on the first train shouldn't be any bother. There she comes. Please move right down the platform, move right down the train. 
These trains are nine cars long. Please move right down the platform. I know we all want to be at the front, but please move right down the platform. Please move right down the platform and train. Train now approaching. It's your first Elizabeth Line service from Hampton to Abbey Wood via Canary Wharf. This train will be calling at Tottenham Court Road, Farringdon, Liverpool Street, Whitechapel, Canary Wharf, Custom House, Woolwich, and finally, Abbey Wood. <laughs> This happens to be 001. This train is now ready to park. Please That's Bond Street right there. There's a service on the other side there. So from Custom House to just before Woolwich, this is where it gets a bit interesting because it follows the alignment of the old North London line that went down to North Woolwich that closed back in 2006. Um, I'll point out there's one disused station on this alignment at Silvertown and I'll we'll show you when we pass that. This is the bit of the old railway. It goes down under. Yes. Yeah. Right, where we're curving around now, this is where the old Silvertown station would have been. Uh, or at one point, Silvertown and London City Airport. It was closed when it was superseded by the DLR extension down to King George V and then Woolwich Arsenal. <laughs> Just emerging out of Plumstead Portal. And there's the existing National Rail Line to Abbey Wood. And there's a 10 link train.
there is another train waiting. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. So, finally at Abbey Woods. I'm on the same train again, heading back to Paddington. again uh, so we can actually get a proper look at the new station. There are the escalators down to the Bakerloo line. Yeah like I said the thing I appreciate the most about this new station is just the vastness of it. Especially like this but it is huge. Because it's essentially on three levels. You've got the level there, you've got the concourse level, and you've got platform level. So uh, we've been at the hotel uh, for uh, about three hours now because um, I've been away editing the video um, for the first day on the Elizabeth line. Um, because it's and because I've been here longer than I wanted to be, um, I'm gonna have to change the plan up a little bit. So I'm still going to do Raynham later on tonight. But I'm going to save Gideon Park and Romford until, I think, Friday or Saturday. Um, so, uh, we'll just, so, sort to fill the time, we'll want to sort of like, um, it is going to be another wing at case. But hopefully we won't get too sort of like, you know, stuck in the weeds and um, feeling like we have no idea where we're going. So, I'm going to stay here for another 20-25 minutes until this finishes uploading and then we're going to head back out again. a lovely lunch up at the Mad Bishop and Bear just upstairs and we're now heading back down here again. <laughs> Welcome to Farringdon. thing with Farringdon and the same place to Liverpool Street as well it's that because the platforms here are so long um, opposite ends serve different stations so that end of the station is neither to Barbican than to actual Farringdon and the reverse the other way
to the other cross rail. So, we've come off at Woolwich Arsenal, and we're now going to watch the Woolwich Elizabeth line. Walking to the Jubilee line at Canary Wharf. Come off at Rainham.
Uh, so we popped out at Raynham and uh, right behind me is High Speed 1, which is the main reason why we've come out to here. Now, in terms of getting like views and stuff, the fencing on the bridge there is a bit too high for me, I'm not very tall. So uh, I'm down here where it's a lot lower and a lot closer to the actual trains. And also I'll point right and crane over and face any other direction if I need to. got off a parking, probably makes sense for us to do this train here. This is the train to Gospel Oak. Next station, Woodgrange Park. going to find the Elizabeth Line underground platforms here at Liverpool Street uh, and get us back to Paddington uh, and then get our train back to Hayes and Harlington and uh, that will be the day done.
finished for the day. Honestly, this has been an incredible day today. From when we started um, with the first train to Heathrow, to getting the first train from Paddington, to everything else that followed on. Uh, we even stopped off at some of the new stations. Um, the only two we need to do that's Totten Court Road and Whitechapel, which we'll, uh, which we'll probably do uh, later in the week. But uh, yeah, we also got Rainham done as well, which was uh, which was very nice. Um, and in terms of clearance, uh, the Goblin Line we also cleared uh, the Barking the Gospel Oak Line, and of course the three one fives as well. Um, if I time Gideon Park and Romford right, we might be able to see them again on their uh, on their single diagram. We are uh, we're done for today. Uh, I'm exhausted and I want my bed. Uh, I'm probably gonna have a lie in tomorrow, so um, we'll see what out of what we have planned on here that we can do. So yeah, thank you very much for watching uh, once again. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you want to support me on my other social medias, I've got my Twitter and my Instagram and my Kofi in the description below. And uh, that's about it. So um, I'll see you tomorrow morning.